I introduced the principles uh, upon which uh, our company, Delos, was founded, uh, which is really a focus on the effect that buildings and structures are having on humans. Um, lots of progress with the green building movement, LEED certification. Uh, and given the fact that we spend over 90% of our time indoors, uh, we felt the need to advance that and extend that to not just the notion of environmental sustainability, but human sustainability indoors. Uh, the culmination of that was uh, the well-building standard uh, released publicly last year, uh, which is a standard that addresses just, just what John described, uh, and a certification program that has since inception now received some pretty substantial adoption. Um, 20 million square feet of registered space across many different typologies, uh, whether it's corporate headquarters or multifamily residential. And we, at Delos, along with the protocol for building and design, spent a lot of time on the products, solutions, and technologies needed to introduce these preventative medical intentions uh, indoors into the built environment. Uh, and uh, accordingly, last year, uh, we we're very happy and excited to announce that we're joining forces with the Mayo Clinic to build and operate the Well Living Lab here in Rochester, adjacent to Mayo's campus. We're very pleased to say, to, to, to answer your question, John, that today, as of today, the Well Living Lab is real. The Well Living Lab is open. We've opened our doors. Many of you have come through and toured the space. Uh, and starting in the first quarter of 2016, we will we begin uh, testing and studies a uh, human-centric approach in simulated real-world environments such as a bedroom or a hotel room, a kitchen, a work office, et, et cetera. So we're very excited about that, and thank you for the question. Yeah. <clears throat>